The figure shows a cubic stool of side length 15 inches. The length of the diagonal of the base EF is the square root of 450 inches. Find the length of the central diagonal DF. Find both the exact value and the approximate value to the nearest tenth. Before we go into the problem, there are two vocab words that I want to go over. The first one is a diagonal. Each of the six faces of a cube has two diagonals. So we would have EF, as I outlined earlier, but we'd also have another diagonal on that face that would be going in the opposite direction. These connect opposite vertices and they will always lie on the surface of the cube. But we also have what are called central diagonals. And central diagonals, which I'm actually going to underline in blue, it will be going from different vertices. So we have the one that's outlined as DF, but you'd also have one that, for instance, would come from this front vertice and it would head back to E. And you would have one that would go to all of the top vertices down to the bottom, bottom vertices across each other. So it's a little bit hard to see because it's not exactly 3D, but all of these central vertices will pass through the center of the cube. Alright, so now let's get into the question. So we have this figure and we know that one of the side lengths is 15 and we know that the other side length is the square root of 450. So let's set up our Pythagorean theorem. So we have a squared plus b squared equals c squared. It, we are looking for hypotenuse and we know we're looking for that side length df because it's telling us that and we know that it is the hypotenuse because it's across from the right angle. So here I'm going to plug in what we have. So we have a side length of 15 and the square root of 450. So I have 15 squared plus the square root of 450 squared will equal side length df squared. So I have 15 squared which equals 225 and the square root of 450 squared will give you 450 and this, this will equal d f squared. So now I can combine these. So these add up to 675 equals df squared. I can then take the square root of both sides. So df equals the square root of 675, which is approximately 26.0 inches.